Hello everyone. I'm very excited because today we have another sketchbook tour. This is sketchbook number 11 and I finished it like um, a couple days ago. So, you know, I'm ready to give you guys a tour and show you all the the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Levity and I'm an artist. As you can probably tell just because I'm doing a sketchbook tour. Hopefully you like it and I'll just dive right in. This sketchbook is pretty thick. I've got a couple post-it notes and paper clips, all that. And if you saw my last sketchbook tour video, you'd probably remember that there was a lot of things I had to cut out. But this time I cut them out already and um, so I won't have to block anything. First, I'll start with the stickers because usually like to, people like to know about the stickers and like where you got them and whatever. So first I have this one, which is my name. And I made this actually, I have a sticker maker, which is pretty cool and I don't use it very often, but I did make this one. Um, this sticker, actually all of these stickers are just random ones that I had like in my drawer just because like I have this sticker book from Barnes and Noble that's like really cute and it has all these kind of like vintagey ones looking I don't know it's good it's called um a little bit of ephemera I think I'll put a picture up on screen um but then I have this demon slayer sticker from Hot Topic I believe probably because that's like where I get all my uh anime stickers and then an apple sticker because I think I bought an Apple gift card and, you know, it comes with a sticker <laughs> and there's nothing on the back. Let's get started with the inside. So, here's the first page. Um, it goes from October 9th to March 7th, which is a little under five months. So, but like basically five months. Um, this is important. A little warning. There is some slight blood, gore, lots of ugly drawings. And also Demon Slayer manga spoilers. You know, I'll make timestamps for if you want to skip it, if you're reading it, or like if you don't care, just watch it, whatever. Let's start with the first page. This is sketchbook number 11. Usually I like to put goals that I have, or like I kind of recently just started doing this, just to kind of like keep me improving constantly. So I said aiming for improvement because like I, I do archery, so it's kind of like a nice play on words. Um, so I wanted to improve on backgrounds, anatomy, hands, clothes, coloring, composition, eyes, and side profiles. The highlighted ones are the ones I want to do the most. <laughs> but let's see if you can count how many backgrounds are in this video. Spoiler alert, there's like none. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to work on backgrounds. And if you've watched my other videos, you know I need to work on it because <laughs> I have to like, I don't know, I'm not very good at it, but you know, it's okay. This is a smiley face stamp that I have, and I really love it. I don't think it's in here a lot, but it's still cute. So, next page. So, I was really, like, hyped up for the fact that I got a new sketchbook. So, this was, like, a little self-portrait. Um, some, like, I call these muffin hands because they're, like, short and stubby. I don't know if that's, like, a technical term, but I call them muffin hands. <laughs> so, if you watched my last sketchbook tour... You would know that I really love drawing Sabito from Demon Slayer. I don't really know why. I just think his design is really cool. I don't think he comes up in this book as much as he did my last one. Go watch my last video if you haven't already. It's really good. But here he is. And then I have just little doodle self-portraits. So this is my character, Lara, in this kind of like cute little chibi-ish style. It's like, it's not very good, but it's a little like warm up sketch. Um, just another doodle, some watercolor test that I did just to like play with colors a little bit. I started this sketchbook shortly after um, finishing my old sketchbook tour video, like my last one. And that video caught a lot of attention. It has like 30,000 views, probably almost 40,000, I think. And a lot of people started subscribing to me because of it. Uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> Just kidding, you don't have to. I don't really care what you do. But I was like super stoked that I had 70 subs, even though now I have like 700. 
So I was really happy about that because, like, you know, I like the fact that my art is making people happy, so. Okay, next page. Here are just some hand doodles. From Sabito, just a little more. Arm anatomy. This is wrong arm anatomy. That is so bad. Ugh. I get better, I promise. The beginnings are always a little rough because I don't get into the flow until later. Uh, my character Fen in this more chibi-ish style, again, for some reason I was kind of just enjoying the softer, like, rounder styles of, in art, which is pretty cute. Um, some eyes, side profile stuff. I do end up getting better with side profiles, a lot better, which is good because <laughs> these in the beginning are pretty rough. My character Karina, a hand, and I think an ugly doodle of Karina under this sticky note, which I don't even want to look at. An anatomy thing just like really loose anatomy. I like this one because it's kind of like super fluent looking. And I saw like this shape thing where shape kind of like maps it out for you. I don't know. Don't really know if it worked, but you know, that. My character Galia, I wanted to do like a slight color. One of the goals was to color more, which I didn't really do, unfortunately. I mean, I kind of do like later. But not really in the beginning. More sketches her in this doodle page, which is not the best. Um, I can't remember when I made this. Oh, well, obviously around fall time. And I was watching Over the Garden Wall. Because, like, who doesn't watch Over the Garden Wall in fall? If you don't, you should. I recommend. Um, and then other doodles, like Jinx from Arcane. Another Sabito. Tanjiro. Just uh, other random doodles. My character cat pants. This I actually made in a video. And I really hate the video that I make this drawing in. So it's a meet the artist. And while those can be like really fun and stuff, I edited that video really badly. So maybe I'll do a redo, but this is kind of like me. I kind of, my hair is a lot longer now, so I don't really look like this anymore. Anyway. Or subscriber stuff, I was like so amazed that people actually, you know, wanted to see my art and like, you know, just like, I don't know, it was kind of crazy. My character Fen, I don't like the body on here, but the face is actually pretty cute. It's like nice and expressive. Cat pants. Uh, here's a little bit of blood, um, just some sketches, I was bored. Also this song, Kiss Her You Fool, good song listen to it. Another Savito. I kind of, I liked this at the time, but now that I'm looking at it, it's not very good. I got a lot better at faces and like <laughs> body proportions. Next one. Uh, my character Harper, uh, their design is a lot different now. They actually have four arms instead of two because of some OC lore that I'm not going to get into. Doodles. Lara with a really whack arm. <laughs> Cat pants. My character Sammy. Sammy again, and a Psyche K cat pants. So I was watching Psyche K at the time and I really, really love Psyche K now. It's actually a great show. I recommend. Um, Psyche, <laughs> again, and cat pants. My characters, Mac and Augie. Another reference to the Kiss Her You Fool song, just because they're boyfriends, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> this watercolor drawing, my character Fen and her younger self. I don't hate it, but I don't exactly like it. It's messy, and like the proportions aren't very good. I even thought that when I started this piece, and I never fixed it for some reason. Um, Karina, I blocked out the words and like context, so then um, my plot wouldn't be spoiled. <laughs> so I tried to do a self portrait, but it didn't end up actually looking like me. But this doesn't even look like me, by the way. I mean, like, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. No, it doesn't. Just kidding. It doesn't look like me. <laughs> I was really tired, so I was drawing Sabito, because that's just, like, what I do. <laughs> it's, like, um, a comfort thing. Not, like, comfort, but it's, like, easy. I've done it before. I can do it again kind of thing. Um, more Sabito. Doodles of me. Akaza. Okay, I blocked this out. I blocked some things out with black because they were either really ugly or like I just didn't like them, you know? Uh, Mac, Karina and her brother. This really ugly doodle, which I don't like. 
but like the idea is cute just like it um this page where it's just a bunch of self-portrait stuff because i really like drawing myself i don't know that's not narcissistic is it <laughs> um i don't know just take it in be being me being me i'm dumb Okay, character expressions. This is the only one I actually like with my character Raja. It's cute. I was using one of these like expression sheets, charts, expression charts. Not bad, not good, whatever. Um, I kind of like discovered Avatar again. So Yang Chen from like, cause I got the new Yang Chen book. It was good, but I feel like it could have been better. A little doodle of Toph and me up in the corner. This, so I was gonna do like, a theme thing with a sketchbook but I didn't end up doing it because I just didn't want to but I made up a new character on this page her name is Tissaphone then here's some anatomy for my characters who have wings on their back so technically the muscle would wrap around the back and into the front which is why these characters have thicker fronts like they have a more muscular top of their stomach because to be able to fly you have to have like you know a muscular physique okay fen fen then my character stella before i actually made her i planned out a little bit of like what i wanted her to look like it's cute um these two sisters bubo and harpa fair little blood warning um okay here's like the actual blood warning i'm not gonna lift up this one uh that's how she dies <laughs> i can say that because it happens in the beginning <laughs> so a little family tree the phone and then this tissue which is covering a graphite drawing this is around christmas time where mariah carey rises up from the depths so <laughs> cat pants with all i want for christmas is you other cat pants drawings i like this one it's cute i think i should turn it digital i should actually i really should do that um stella i got this new like highlighter i literally use it all the time it's this one stebulo boss and like this light peach color. I don't know. I use it so much. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Harpa. She has kind of like the physique of a bird. Other OC lore that I'm not going to get into. <laughs> um, I dyed my hair pink. And I was sick. Yeah. That's how this came about. You know. Cute. So this note card is covering a really ugly realistic drawing that I did. That was like literally so bad. I didn't even want to look at it. These doodles of fan are cute. This one especially. Because, like, whenever I draw her in a simpler style, it becomes more expressive and just more, like, funny. You know? Okay. Um, other ugly drawings that I blacked out. This is kind of cute. Not really, but just a little bit. Karina. Stella. Fen. Me with my magenta pink hair. I have brown hair, so, like, it wasn't super pink, but it was still, like, nicely pink. I like this drawing of Fen. It kind of feels so, like warm or like natural you know what i mean like it kind of feels in the moment or like genuine genuine that's the word okay psyche k i love psyche k i really like this spread it just looks so nice <laughs> um the stars are really cute and this was one of those moments where i was just like you know what i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna draw and it's gonna turn out good and that's what happened very happy there are some little anatomy like mishaps or like proportion uh, mistakes, but overall it's pretty good. Old cutout drawings from this like big paper pad that I have. Uh, my character Mia, uh, James, Mia again, and Fen. Mia dresses up as Mr. Worldwide for Halloween in one of the stories, so had to. A little more Psyche K. My favorite character is Mikoto Ayora, like the, the fortune teller, she is, I love her <laughs> so her body is like really short for like no reason it's because cat pants and her proportions are a lot different because cat pants is all legs and she's you know not so that kind of backfired on me mary chrysler it was christmas time but i think her face is cute and like cat pants is cute too of course um stella and barry in like winter clothes i really like this i think it's adorable um this little fen brush lining test is nice okay i like this spread because it's so like it feels so like nice um this actually has no correlation with anything that happens in 
her story I just thought it would look cool purely because it would look cool and I like the the colors in this and then we have this one of Fenn in her dress being kind of like curled up some Mitski lyrics at the bottom if you you know Mitski if you listen to Mitski you know um listen to Mitski it's really good <laughs> I love Mitski this really ugly drawing that was like actually super bad um some more sabito this one this one and this one i like this one i think it's cute it's nice and like again it's genuine looking and then a cell portrait of me that was like i'm brain dead i i go through a lot of art block in this sketchbook and you'll see it like you'll see me start to like run out of steam but i i pick it back up again of course this was a little thing for my instagram for like sketch dump photos uh here's another gore thing by characters i'm not gonna tell you anything about it because that's lore i can't reveal um but my character galia karina raya fen and hayward he's just there um doodle of mitsuri i don't really like it it's not proportional and the skirt looks really bad but it's not ugly it's i mean it's ugly but it's not <laughs> awful Some notes i took on an art video that i don't ever refer to or look back at it's fine, I guess. Um, here's where Harper gets their four, their four arms. Um, it's kind of weird anatomy because like the four arms means you have like two chests and then you have like two back shoulder blades. You have two shoulder blades. It's weird. Harper's um, magic item shop. Harper again, Harper again. A little Harper thread. This paper clip um, is stuff I can't show you for like OC lore reasons. <laughs> um, I tried to color with crayons. It did not work. These are crayon sketches. They're kind of cute. Ugly drawing under here. My character Sue. He's pretty slay. I like his when his hair is longer. It looks nice. This is a doodle of my friend. And this is Raya. I like this actually. I feel like the hand is kind of nice and fluent. But I don't really know. I think it's good. Tanjiro. This doesn't give away any spoilers, so, you know, it's fine. This was one of the art, like, uh, things in the back of one of the chapters. It was just, like, him holding a little light, and I was like, I like that. So, I, I drew it. <laughs> of course I did. Then I had, like, a realistic, or, like, a more realistic um, jump for some reason. And I made this, like, realistic fan drawing, which I really love. It looks really good. Her face is uneven, and I can tell, but, like, it looks good. And then I tried to do it with Karina, and it didn't look good, so it was, like, a once-in-a-while one, once thing. And then I was like, since when could I ever draw realistically? <laughs> Failed anatomy. Happens a lot. Um, sabito doodle, sabito sabito. Um, more of this, like, skeletal drawing kind of thing. I don't really know, but I like it kind of weird kind of funky kind of fresh i like this hand though like on this pelvis it looks so good <laughs> um i got new highlighters so i had to try them out i got a new pen for christmas it's like a fountain pen so i was like doodling with it oc lore can't show you hands holding a star i'm kind of like obsessed with that concept like stars don't really know why i just like it Glued pages together because they're ugly. Um, Akaza from Demon Slayer. Sonami from Demon Slayer. And Genya from Demon Slayer. This is the cover 13 art. I tried to like recreate it because I have I have all the books. Um, his hand did not work out. And it's a little bit crooked. But it's pretty good. And this, I like this one of Sonami. Oh, <laughs> more gore stuff. Here's my art block. I was having art block. I was like, I don't want to do it. I don't have any dates on here, but I know I, like, stopped for a while and then picked it back up, like, here. So this is a little comic thing that I can't, you know, reveal the words to you because that's OC lore. But there's just a bit of gore in it. <laughs> um, more fun. I was kind of in, like, a fan kick because, I don't know, I just did. It was her birthday on the 28th of December last year. She turned two. She's two years old. Um, other doodles. 
Pac-Man because she likes to eat. More story stuff I can't show you. Puppy Cat, because I was watching Bee and Puppy Cat, and I love Bee and Puppy Cat. It's so cute. Like, yes, I just love it. Some more pen tests. I was just writing a little paragraph, put a sticky note over it. Don't know why. Um, That one thing that was like you as a baby. Remember that meme where it was just, I don't know. Sabito, anatomy thing, nail polish that I, for some reason, spread on my sketchbook. New Year. Cool. Um, a little doodle of me. <laughs> this really ugly drawing that I painted over because I hated it. I do this a lot, actually. Karina. Uh, halfway through point. I was just kind of like, whatever, it's just halfway through. And then I like looked back at my goals and I was like, oh, I haven't done any of those. Blank page. <laughs> my friend drew these. The you as a baby and some girl farting. I don't know why. Don't know. Um, Zhongli, but I couldn't get his face right, so I blocked it out. <laughs> some little fun doodles. I don't like this one, and I really hated this one at the time, but this one's actually cute now that I look at it again. It's not, like, great, but it's not bad. Yeah, see, art block is killing me. It was literally... It had a chokehold on me. Fen. I liked... I think this kind of helped me get out of art block a little bit. Because, like, I doodled it on some random paper. And then I was like, I need to put this in my sketchbook. So, like, I redrew it. The anatomy's kind of weird. This arm's nice. This arm's too long. This leg's too short. Her body's kind of, like, weird. Don't know. Technical issues. But it was just a doodle, so it's not going to be perfect. Um, cat pants. I love these doodles. They're so cute! Another picture of my friend that I drew that looks so like accurate to the picture i referenced it off of but i can't show you because you know I'm not gonna disclose my face my friend's faces on the internet references the thing is, is that i'm really really bad at copying references like i actually never use references because i can't stand to look at them <laughs> i know that sounds like kind of weird because usually artists always need references to get proportions right but i just <laughs> every time i do use report the Every time I do use references, they look awful. Like this. So bad. <laughs> I just need to learn how to use references or something. Um, drawing a fin. This this hand is really good. But the neck is too long and like her arm is stupid looking. These wings are nice. Doodle. Because every good drawing has to be balanced out with a bad drawing. That's kind of like my sketchbook principles for some reason. Another drawing of fin. It's really bad. Tanjiro. Um, Mitsuri, but her face looked really bad. Shinobu, her face is a little bit weird, but it's actually pretty cute. Okay, the next few drawings I did on live, because I was having such bad art block, and I was kind of like, I just need to draw on live or something. This is the only one I like, out of all of them. It's the first one I did. Um, Karina, Shinobu, random character. I don't like any of these. They're all like kind of bad and this one is so awful her face is so crooked but i was having such bad art block at the time that i couldn't fix it you know what i mean yeah stella just some stella doodles i really like um well this is barry these two but i really like this one of stella i think it's super like bouncy cute you know whatever um planning a comic for stella i did make the first chapter posted on my Instagram, and I made a video about it. I'm not super thrilled with how it came out, but these were the plans, and I liked the plans, and then I did it, and I didn't like it. Um, perspective test that I never ended up finishing because I was sick of it. A little bit of Stella perspective. I think this looks okay. It's definitely not super good, but it's okay. Um, anatomy, like, figure things. I was actually using references and was just super loose. And it came out a lot better than, like, me trying to actually draw a reference. Um, uh, whatever. Barry in the city. And then more Stella and Barry. This is Barry in a little more of, like, a realistic fashion. Not realistic, but, like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Ed like, more detailed. That's the word. Stella and Barry on, like, a windy mess- uh, a windy route. 
uh, to deliver a message. And Mona Lisa by MXM Tune describes her. And then Remember When by The Wallows describes Barry. Anyway, um, a little comic I made because I found a pink sheep in Minecraft and it felt like an omen. It felt like an omen, you know? I love when that happens. My character Sue, I like this drawing because it just brings out like such a nice little emotion. I don't know. And this is his wife, Comey. Yeah, they're together. Um, doodles, like freehand doodles with just like this brush pen. Doodles. Oh, I love this spread. This is like the only good spread that I have in here. So I ripped this page out of a paper um, and I glued some graph paper in and I have these thank you cards and I drew some mums with a skull. The skull looks <laughs> stupid, but the mums look good. And then I have this one where I was like really tired and like kind of burnt out from like drawing so much in these past few pages. So I was like, I'm tired, but I like this. It looks good. And it kind of like, it doesn't look like me, but it does at the same time. Like if I was a cartoon character, I'd look like that. Ugly drawings, ugly drawings. <laughs> the Roblox man face. <laughs> I made this in my animation class. I, I love this page. Besides this, this is just random. But I did some face studies from Pinterest and oh my gosh, they turned out great. This one's not good, but I love this one. It's just, it looks so nice and I love this one too. Like it looks like a real person to me. Some glued in magazine things that I found like a, I just found a really old magazine and I cut stuff out of it. Anyway, I was gonna redesign OCs, but then I was like, no. Sammy, Lara, Fen, Hand. And I got this like anatomy book and I tried to draw some of the anatomy. It didn't work very well. And I like crossed it out. I don't know, I don't like it, whatever. Um, OC lore, can't get into that, but it's nice drawing. I also got a hand anatomy book and these are just ones that I was just doodling, but they're obviously not anatomically correct, but they look good in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Golden Eagle, just because I had to draw a Golden Eagle for something. I got this new brush for line art, and I was like, let me try it out. But I was super stiff, which is why both these drawings don't look very good. So, yeah. Um, this is Usagi Tsukino, or Sailor Moon. And this is Raihino, or Sailor Mars. And these are, like, checks to make sure that my drawing is entirely correct. I have a lot of trouble with hands, like placing them backwards and whatnot. I do that a lot. <laughs> Some OC stuff. Yes, it's a self-insert. <laughs> anyway. Cat pants. Um, me. Karina. Oh, more clip stuff. I can't show ya. This drawing that I made of an owl. Fen, which actually, I like this drawing. It's nice looking. Because it's like so loose and sketchy. This is my characters from Cat Pants franchise, if that's what you want to call it. Lara, James, Sammy, Cat Pants. And yes, Cat Pants can read your mind. He can read your mind. He's eternal. Anyway, I like this expression on Sammy. It looks so good. Here's where like I was actually kind of getting into the flow or like the I'm going to draw. I like drawing. I'm going to do it. That kind of thing. Yeah, cat pants, cat pants, cat pants. Little sequence thing. Lara and Sammy and then James. And this little OC lore thing that I can't show you. Um, it was Valentine's Day. So I drew Sabito because I love I love <laughs> I love his character design. This is Inari, one of my characters. But I actually changed her design later. Like her hair color is now white. And she's now kind of like albino-ish. So, you know, she doesn't have black hair anymore. But I do like this hairstyle on her. It's cute. Here's where I got gouache. Um, my first couple paintings didn't go very well. But I did this gouache test with Psyche. Kind of like playing with the colors. I feel like it looks nice, but not at the same time. Um, okay. My character Raja in a gouache. I like this one to a certain degree. But at the same time, it doesn't look very good. It's decent, though. 
I like his his arms look good. <laughs> um, some of the line art is weird though. Um, cat pants, and this page was all like wavy because this this is not a mixed media. My character is Boobo and Cow. Um, yeah, this random doodle that I did. Okay, um, another spread. So I had Pocky, and I love Pocky, honestly. They're so good. Love Pocky. We we stand Pocky. <laughs> um, Pac-Man, Lara, Sue. I tried to do, like, that very sticker on face, and we're like, um, decor a key, that's the word, fashion, but it didn't work out very well. <laughs> Pocky, uh, wrapper. This actually kind of smells like chocolate. Let me... It does smell like chocolate. <laughs> it still smells like chocolate. That's nice. Andrew Mitsuri just doodling. Uh, Mikoto. And I started watching Last of Us like every other person out there. So Joel and Ellie. I like this Ellie. I don't really like this Joel though. I heard Pedro Pascal is like the easiest guy to draw. I think I should do a Pedro Pascal drawing. I should actually. I should. I should. I will. I'm gonna. This drawing of Fen. I like it but I don't at the same time. I feel like all of the realistic or like more realistic portraits I do of her all look kind of the same in like a weird way. I don't know if it's like the eyes or something, but I don't know. Um, notes, character notes, or like just drawings. Uh, Cal and Fen. Cal is Fen's dad, so you know, cute. I like this little stuffed animal that I made. It's like it's not ever gonna be present but it's a cute design maybe i should make this wow i'm getting lots of ideas <laughs> um because i can sew cat pants with a star this is um not a plot thing but like a symbol in the story stuff oc stuff these are actually <laughs> so this is a reference picture that i did of my hands that's why it looks like my hands um and it actually looks so good i'm very impressed with myself this one's a little weird. It's a little too long. But um, otherwise, it's these are like the best hands I've ever drawn. Just saying. Karina. I like this, actually. The hand is bad, but like her face expression is cute. This is ugly. <laughs> um, Me. And I was doing like a little comic. I blocked out the dialogue because OC lore. It's Lara, though. Lara and Cat Pants, they're best friends. And like more star symbolism. It's my favorite. Mia. I like this kind of like, uh, what's it called? Foreshortening. It just looks a little weird, but I have like the gist of it. Cat Pants in Flare Pants. And uh, Sammy in PE. They're school kids. <laughs> so if you watched my last sketchbook tour, you'll know that I have like this meme era in my sketchbooks where I always like draw memes for a while. So that's that's what I did here. I drew the green M&M. The green M&M is my favorite. I love the green green M&M. She says, am I, burnt, am I lazy or burnt out? Guess we'll never know. And then <laughs> if you've watched Amazing World of Gumball, you've seen these faces before. I'll put pictures on screen of the actual frames, but I literally love the animation in Amazing World of Gumball. It's so funny. Self portraits. Um, I love this one so much. It's like totally not going insane. Uh, yeah. I like this spread. It's cute. Lara, my character Kickatrix. I'll tell you who this is. <laughs> Actually, I don't even have a name for her yet. Anyway. Oh. Oopsies. Um, a room study. This is not my room. It's one I found on Pinterest. Anatomy study because I was kind of getting like a little more comfortable with using references or like digesting them, I guess. Um, Kane Kocho from Demon Slayer, and then Shinobu from Demon Slayer. Here's a little spoiler. Um, just skip ahead like 10 seconds and I'll probably be done. It's, uh, in, I don't know what book, but when she was getting revenge on Doma and her sister, Kane, you know, who died from Doma. If you've read the books, you know. Anyway, I made these really cute, like, wisteria, simple wisteria and simple butterflies. Tanjiro, because I was going to make a, like, a full finished illustration with him, but I didn't because I didn't feel like it. I like this face. I think it's really nice looking. And then I 
did um a spread of him in like a simple style he's so such a good character tanjiro is such a good character please um and the reason i wrote it wrong here tanjiro is that's how my brother says it because he doesn't know how to say it <laughs> um you know guys and Ito. a character design and here's where inori got her little redesign where i turned her hair white and like changed up her hair like texture a little bit um me because i was almost done i was so close blank stare cat pants uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um that one meme where it's like i'm sat yeah this and then him and ice cream cat pants loves ice cream uh lara i love these i love this spread because it shows how like stupid a character lara is like she's not stupid but she's like childish childish and immature so and she's kind of slow and <laughs> i made this one where she was holding a hand turkey and then i was like i need to make this into a little more of a detailed drawing so i did and it looks actually scary but it's so funny to me because she's just like i made a hand turkey and then cat pants is in the bottom we're almost done this is one of my favorites in here it looks so nice it's just a little portrait of inari but like i'm trying to get good lighting but it's not like ugly looking <laughs> like most of my more realistic portraits are um jazz hands uh the last sabito of the book i'm bored can't wait to finish this sketchbook i was ready to be done like i always am but okay we only have a couple more pages tisaphone never gonna give you up never gonna let you down you know rick astley for life more self-portraits my hair was getting super long like i mean so long right now i actually have a haircut tomorrow that's good note um narcissism jk it's not narcissism i don't think it is do you think it's narcissism maybe cute um and i was like should i grow my hair because my hair's already pretty long it's not this long but like it would be this long in a couple months okay last page so finally done goodbye yes and then cat pants poop so there we go it's finished Woo! this video is long it's fine um also let me know what you think of the sketchbook tour like you know do you have any suggestions for video ideas for anything that i could do on this channel just tell me um also if you would like to see any of the unfinished or like sketches in this sketchbook like turned into a um oh my god my hand is covered in graphite um if you like any of these sketches and you want them turned into finished pieces i will do that if you suggest it because if you don't i will never know so you know give me feedback i want your feedback <laughs> please i like feedback you know comment down below like subscribe if you want to i can't force you to do anything so if you want to subscribe do it but if you don't you don't have to anyway <laughs> that's it for today um hope you have a good day slash evening slash night slash morning whatever time of day it is wherever you are i just hope you have a good day or night i don't know just yes so i'll see you next time whenever that may be i don't have a schedule yet um so see ya bye